Sup guys, uh, Hate King here bringing you another manga review this week. Uh, I know, a bit late, that's usually how I like to do it. I like to relax a bit and then give you the reviews afterwards when the next chapter's about to come out. Works out better for me this way. I know, it's late, but still, you'll enjoy it. But yeah, Black Clover, chapter 324 if I'm correct. Remember to like and subscribe guys, please, comment down below, share, do what you want with it. It helps me and it helps you too for more content in the future. Possibly. Maybe. Seriously, if, if, if it does get me more views and subscribers then yeah, I'll probably be more likely to get up my butt and give you more of this stuff. But yeah, Black Clover chapter 324. Uh, let's just double check quickly so we're not wrong. Yes, it is 324. I know. Wow. I, how do I forget these numbers every week? Like, it should be pretty uh, basic now, like, what chapter I'm on. But yeah, man, we, we ended last chapter with uh, a pretty, you know, cool way, you know, the Black Bulls jumped in, or at least uh, Zorin and uh, uh, Nero or Cesaro jumped in. Is that how you say a name? And Rouge jumped in. We got a little moment of Grey and Vanessa saving Yami's life. But mostly it was focused on Yami and his relationship with uh, Nucked and their friendship basically and them basically being partners and coming together to save the day at the end. So this chapter just starts off right from White where we ended off uh, with Zorin uh, building up uh, a lot of the magic power he just received from Lucifero after he attacked him and got caught in the trap magic. And he goes in for a punch. Uh, uh, I, I like I like how he speaks to Lucifer here. Uh, oh, oh, Almighty Demon Lord! I'm gonna I'm gonna deal this back to you twofold. And yeah, you expect something big, right? But come on, it's it's Lucifer. Like this isn't some low level demon. Do you know what I mean or like one of the yeah, dark triad demons? Like this is the big guy. This is the king. Like it's not gonna do a lot of damage. But we get this very cool shot where Zora just goes in for this punch, and Lucifer goes as well, and it connects and. And yeah, it doesn't appear to do anything because it's like it's it, it, it's yeah. Zorin is the one who gets the, the the hit. Like you just sort of see the attack go up his arm basically, and he's shocked by that. And yeah, he doesn't get knocked away. Obviously, the magic or trap power just sort of it vanishes from his arm. Like he's basically used up all the strength or magic that he built up. Whatever, basically. But uh, Lucifero does, you know, notice the Grimoire that they have, and he, you know, and he, and he says how annoying. So I'm very curious about this. I mean, this won't be the first time Lucifero has encountered someone for Grimoire, I believe, right? I mean, there was a uh, uh, Natsu's uh, Natsu. This isn't fairy tale. How am I forgetting the characters' names? Uh, Asta, Asta's mom. Uh, this is the you know this isn't the first time he's encountered someone for a grimoire I believe because like sure I think he, he he knew about them when he when he encountered uh, Asta's mom right and uh, he was taking control of Leap was it he was taking control of Leap right and yeah but you notice how annoying it is I wonder if they're gonna sort of uh, tie in maybe the grimoires to the demons like and reveal that maybe the demons were the ones who created the grimoires in the first place or maybe it's a case of oh no the grimoires are like the original. Uh, things that kept demons imprisoned until someone came up with the idea of oh no let's follow them into the uh, underworld maybe like maybe the underworld was a prison and not a dimension or oh, it is a dimension and the grim wars are like you know like a genie in a bottle basically if you will like so maybe something like that maybe I don't know like uh but yeah, he does say it's very annoying. And then you've got Yami and Noct coming in, uh, protecting uh, Asta, uh, Nero, and uh, Zoran from by you know from behind, taking the front basically, and. Uh, yeah, like, Yami, Yami notes to Yark if he's been paying attention. Obviously he has been, like, he's been busy watching the, uh, Black Bulls. And this is a guy who was a very, what's the word? He was way too serious, like, uh, we could tell that there was something up with him, that we could tell, like, uh, he had this sort of hate for Yami, maybe, uh, like, this, uh, trauma that we didn't know what it was, but then we did find out and we realised, no, this guy doesn't hate him, like, not, not really, like, he really does care for him. They are friends, but he's guilty. He just feels guilty himself. He doesn't... I feel like he's basically the kind of guy who doesn't want to become friends with people because he's scared of losing them. And that's kind of the deal I get from Nacht. But yeah, he does say they're a pretty interesting bunch, don't you? Don't you? At least that's the army was telling him, and you see Nacht's reactions. 
but uh, and he says I hate to admit it, but yeah, you're right. Uh, they all they all support far surpass my wildest expectations for them. So I don't know if that's Yami's word for them or if this is uh, Nux. I think, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious about that. Maybe Nux has been watching from the shadows the whole time. I think that's the impression I'm getting. Hmm. So we get this little line from Zorin, uh, how about you go and show off this time, huh? You're our superiors after all. And uh, Nero, uh, Osaria is like, nice to meet you. Um, I think nice to meet you to Nark, right? Because I think that's the first time she's seeing him. Uh, but yeah, we, 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 if you guys remember last chapter, something weird was going on with Yami's body. I'm assuming it's the same thing with Vengeance. Uh, like they got like devil magic now apparently like like or at least traces of it or whatever building up like they're all flowing with magic but it's devil magic or devil energy or something so very curious about that but you know Yami pretty much states I've got no clue but how how but a ton of magic power is welling up within me uh, and then you got not uh, pointing out that one of these devils I think got got defeated or knocked out that previous attack got Slotus uh, Gim Gimoldolo can you handle this I'll manage uh, so, yeah, they say, don't you think so, Vice Captain? That's right, Captain. Mana Zone, full release. So, they go all out. Dark Magic plus uh, Shadow Magic. They're combining the attacks, basically. And that big orb, I don't know what the hell it is, but that big orb that's behind Yami since he woke up. Uh, I, I don't know if that's just something that Vanessa Gray and Grey gave to him. Or if it's uh, part of his own magic, I don't know. But like that thing starts going nuts, like like hands, whatever, start pouring out of it. And uh, but it's it's the title of the chapter basically, which is children's playground. Um, I don't know, I don't know how different the translations are to this, the official release. But uh, yeah, it's it's weird because Lucifer just has this look of like what the hell. Like, like he does seem very surprised because next minute you have all these shadows of Yami and Noct coming out of it. I'm assuming, yeah, it is Yami and Noct. It's shadows, literally physical sort of clone shadows pouring out of this orb. And they're attacking Lucifero. Darkness spreads shadows and shadows in turn create darkness. Yeah, okay. Uh, and Noct goes into his uh, demon or devil union form, or to one of his devil union forms, and he tries to attack Lucifero and Yami's trying to attack while the shadows are attacking and distracting him and yeah it's it's just it's crazy to see like I'm trying to imagine how cool this will be when it's animated but uh, well, well what do we get from it this is the infinite uh, synergy of darkness and shadows and he's trying to go for slashes and Lucifer like always is just blocking these bloody attacks like the but it starts to spread around the entire bloody area like it's just this big void of shadows going everywhere and you've got that one dude, that one devil, uh, what's his name, who's got that long ass name, I don't even know how to say his bloody name, but he's just on a rock and he's watching all of this, like, like, he's still sitting there and chilling, like, huh, like, seriously, I want to know what the deal with this guy is, like, is he technically a good guy? Like, does he actually care about humans? Is he interested in humans? Does he not give a crap about Lucifero and he's hoping he dies? Is he going to jump in if Lucifero ends up, like, losing, maybe? But, yeah, this attack, like, even he notices it. Even the little devil notices it. Uh, because no, Lucifero notices it. Well, he looks in and, and he's got a freaking, like, hit on, on his arm. Like, it worked. Whatever the attack was, how, like, what they're doing, it worked. Because he's got this sort of, like, clover tattoo now on his, on his arm. It looks like a clover, so like a free-leafed clover in it, but uh, yeah, even Lucifero is shocked by this, and yeah, it, it looks like he's like he's angry, like he even says, you humans have the potential to defeat me, I'll give you, and his expression just sort of changes, like he goes into this sort of very calm, like, I don't know, like, it, it, it looks like the face of a god who's about to like, go all out and murder you, and he's like, I'll give you that. That's why I'll kill all of you without fail, and not just you, your parents, your siblings, your friends, your neighbours, without remorse, I shall slaughter every last human. Uh, from here on, I won't be holding back. So, yeah, we, it, it, it's like, it, it's, it's basically, basically Lucifero is now at that point in this fight where he's like, oh, these these guys are actually really strong. Hmm, interesting. I've been underestimating them the whole time. But no, these guys, if I lap them, if I am not careful, they could actually seriously deal a big blow on me. I mean, this this is this is nothing, sure, but still, you've you've hurt me like that's 
I can't allow that anymore. You guys have really, really, really pissed me off now. Like, uh, it, 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 it's not even anger. I mean, his expression is not even anger. It's like realization and calmness to the point where it's like, okay, okay, I look down on you. I'm going to give you the respect you deserve. I'm going to give you the respect you deserve, which is me basically slaughtering you and your whole entire kind. Cool. You ready? Let's let's do this. Uh, from here on out, I'm losing my full power now, or whatever I got of it. Be ready, like, and, and that's that's the vibe I'm getting from it. It's like it's it's good. It's a good vibe. It's like it's like we're entering this sort of like next stage of the fight now, where Lucifero is now getting serious because now he realizes, yeah, these guys, these guys are serious. And, uh, yeah, Yami's like, you're already now getting serious? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, well, and it's like, yeah, yeah, this guy was pulling his punches the whole time, basically. I mean, what we had so far was just, was just, like, a little, little nick, like, a little bit of Lucifero's power. This is him now, like, okay, let's do this. And, uh... Yeah, we, we get we get narrow here. Like I think she's healing Asta, and uh, who's who's healing? In, in, no, she's healing Asta, and someone is healing um, a you know uh, like a t Tinko. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was his fairy or if it was uh, uh, what's her name, um, a Mimosa maybe. But uh, maybe someone disappeared. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was the fairy. But uh, yeah, we get we we get Asta danking Nero, and he's like, yeah, you look like crap. You sure you're alright? And Nero's like, yeah. And then, uh, you know, it's like, you're the last person I want to hear that from. We've already made it this far, isn't that right, you guys? So I think, I think Asta and Yuno are talking to each other, actually. So, yeah, they're like, they're giving themselves a little bad mouth, but yeah. Um, and then the army's like, this is the final bow, let's do this. You've got, you've got knocked, like, in, in, in just that awesome sort of devil uniform, like, the, the helmet sort of reminds me of, like, the Hunters from Bloodborne. Like, I don't know, it's got that feel to it, like, it's, it's pretty freaking cool. And yeah, he's got the wooded sword. And you got Yuno and Asta getting up as well now, sort of healed thanks to uh, Nero's magic. I don't, I don't know who healed uh, Yuno, maybe it was Nero as well or someone else, but uh, they're getting up as well. So now you've got Yami, Nut, Asta and Yuno getting their asses off and preparing to go for this final fight with Lucifero. A fight to the death, basically. And Lucifero looks like he's upgraded a bit. I mean, his horns look a bit bigger. He's got more of the veins popping out from his chest. And they're like, he's got shoulder blades or something. So, yeah. Things are about to get uh, dicey. So, yeah. Uh, overall, this looks like a really... Well, it, it, not even overall. It is a pretty good chapter of uh, Black Clover. Again. I believe the writer's name is Tabitha, right? Um... Knocking it out the park. I'm, I'm liking the build up to this. Uh, yes, it is short. My biggest complaints with these chapters are it, it, it does feel short. You sit down, you read it, and you're basically done in like a, a minute or two. Uh, I, I really would like to just sort of sit down. This is one of the reasons I do this as well. Like uh, I, I get to review this, but I also go through the manga chapter again. I just sort of try and take in all the little details and that. And uh, yeah, this this final uh, uh, like uh, page here, like just with, just with the four of them facing Lucifer, like it's freaking gorgeous. Like I like I like it. Like it's just like it's panels, panels, but I like it. And uh, I'm very curious to see how this is gonna where this is gonna go. Like uh, it's it, like because yeah, it does seem like we're in the second stage of this fight now. Um, and it's with it's with these guys. It's with Yami, not uh, Asta, and you know. So yeah. Uh, I will say this, someone does need to die though, like, I know people are going to be like, no, no, no one needs to die, but no, no, someone does need to die, someone does need to die in this fight, otherwise, uh, Lucifer will just be treated like a joke, um, like, someone does need to go out, then, I mean, to, to be fair, in these fights, no one ever really dies, I mean, you had Aizen taking on everyone, uh, and no one, and people got hurt, but no one died. Uh, you had Madara taking on everyone, but no, no one died again. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I never, I never get this notion of, oh yeah, people need to die now. It's like, no, I mean, they've done enough to prove how powerful they are. They've beaten the crap out of these guys. I mean, the best thing that, that this manga could do compared to other mangas is maybe actually have some of these characters like their injuries being uh permanent do you mean like like maybe some of them can't ever walk again or some of them uh uh, I don't know, have have like massive mental trauma and, and, and they can't do anything or some of them have their magic depleted and they have to quit, like something like that, do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to require death all the time. But uh, you know, it, for me for me, it's always been a case of if, if, a, if you know, if, if, if someone dies and then they come back like a few chapters later on 
uh, that for me always nullifies uh, the feeling, do you know what I mean, that you get, like One Piece does this the whole time, and I get that One Piece is mainly for kids, do you know what I mean, like Oda has to like uh, keep in mind of his uh, kid audience, but you know, those of us have been reading for a long time aren't kids anymore, but uh, still, uh, and you always get these little, like even early on in the series, you always had like characters die, and suddenly it's like, oh no, they're not, they're not dead. Uh, obviously characters do die, they do die, but you always get those, for the major, for the most part, at least a lot of the time, you get characters who die, you think they're dead, and then they come back and they're revealed to alive, and it's like, what was the point? That this character's not going to do anything important in the future, like, they, they offer nothing, and they don't, they really don't. They don't affect the story anymore, it's like, but there they are, alive. Um, and again, I guess it's it's a case of, you know, this in the end of the day, kids read this, and you don't want to, like, upset them. And uh, Fair enough, but... Uh, I want some death for my stories, do you know what I mean? Uh, like, uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, things for uh, uh, Black Clover that I can think of that sort of annoyed me when it came to deaths was uh, the priest, like, uh, the father priest. He, like, he dies in that one chapter, or he, he's dying, he's like, he's poisoned, but then Asta's able to save him. Like, it's like, okay, fair enough, I guess, because that introduced the concept of the, uh, the, the devil sword that could, or the demon slayer sword that could remove curses, so I guess that makes sense, like, they had to do that. But I just remember being very upset, very sad. Like, I think that was like the last episode of season two as well. Like they ended on that, like that cliffhanger, that realization like, oh, that's sad, his father figure's dying. But it's like, no, next episode is like, no, he's fine, he's good, he's good. It's like, oh, okay. But I think that I think that works better because like it's literally the next like the next chapter or the next episode. Do you know what I mean? It, it isn't a case of, oh, he died and then he comes back like 10 or a volume chapters later and it's like, oh yeah, magically he was alive or something like that or, or something. It's like, oh, don't do that. But yeah, something big like really big in terms of like uh like a character death or something needs to happen here i think i think someone does need to die well at least someone needs to get cut in half or lose, lose some limbs and be like well i'm done i'm never i'm gonna i'm never gonna be fighting again or something like that do you know what i mean i hope it's not Mer meryl leo man like like seriously do not do anything to my queen here like she might be fine she might be bloody fine at the end of this fight like uh it, it might not be a case of like oh yeah she she's completely turned into a martyr she can't become human again no i don't want i don't want to hear that crap like like she might not die okay uh kill off seke man like no one no one likes no i i don't, I don't want uh, seke got his moment in this in this arc i think so like maybe he can develop and become a better character in the future but uh, someone something needs to happen do you know what I mean like like something needs to happen so i'm waiting for that Overall, great chapter. Can't wait uh, for next week. So in this case, this week's. No, wait. There is no day because it's on a break apparently. So there is no Black Clover this week. No, no. That, that hurts my heart. But yeah, guys, I hope you liked my review slash reaction. I guess to this. Uh, remember, guys, to always like and subscribe, share, comment down below. Please do, guys. And as always, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.